brutal but effective jazz strategies. Welcome back to another episode of Brutal But Effective Jazz Strategies. Today we are going to do three things. We are going to learn how to mark up your music. We're going to announce links to Don't Get Around Much Anymore. There's a jam track you can get to below the description. The uh, How I laid out the chord tones to Don't Get Around Much Anymore. There's a PDF also available in the description. And we'll show you how it sounds. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's talk about how to mark your music. We do this with one of these. This is the old school version of a pencil. And if you're really particular, you use a straight edge. And what we're looking for, first of all, is the road map, which is how you repeat phrases in a piece of music. For instance, at uh, after the, all the solos have been played, down here at the DS, we go up to the sign up here. So to lead your eye from one place to the next, I just write in a line. And you can go right from here, right to here. And boom, there you are. This is a DS Alfine, and Fine is here. So I just circle the Fine so that you make sure you acknowledge it. The other thing I mark on here is every four bars for fours. So every four bars, I'll put in a little tick or here so that you know where you're going to be with the four bars. So down here at the bridge, one, two, three, four, put one in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, put one in here. So if you're hearing drums, you know it's going to end right there and then you're going to have to play. So it's helpful to know these things. One, two, three, four, right there, and of course at the end. Other things that you might highlight would be things like your repeats, um, any jumps you have. If you have no repeat, first time play three times on DS. So we've got this little figure here, and it goes three times when we go back around on the DS, and then it goes to the Fine. Other than that, we're good to go there. So that's how you mark your music. You find jumps that you have to document. You go through and you mark up the fours so you know where each block of four goes. And you'll notice that I also added some guitar chords that are helpful for me. If you don't play guitar, that doesn't apply. Um, but it's your music. You can write it on it as much as you want. You can put little hints or jokes or whatever it is. Make it your own. The next stop is how I laid out the chord tones. And that is over here. There is a um, PDF file that you can download. I'm probably going to cut to that right now. And that will allow you to take a look at this in more depth. If you choose to, it has all the chords and the top line where I made the decisions as described in the other video. So these are each, each of the chord tones. Up here are the notes that I chose in the order that I chose them. That's the top line. So here's the second line, chord tones, the top line for the second line. Here we're getting into the bridge. And once again, chord tones, top line is where I make decisions. And the last thing down here is the repeat of the A. And I kind of do a variation on the decisions I made in the first two runs of the A phrase. And we have a break here that's marked in. So that's also something that you might want to mark in down here on your uh, music, which is if there's going to be a break. Put in a grand pause right there. You got a two bar break. OK, let's take a look at uh, how it sounds. <laughs>
what is the teachable moment here? You can play simple parts with the right notes and it effectively will lower the bar to where you can get to it. So give a thought, go through, pick notes carefully, lower the bar till you can get over it. It sounds better. Try it. Bye now.